Good evening. These are always a little low for me. Uh, great to see you all. We are a packed house tonight, so thank you for being here. I'm Troy Brown. I'm the San Joaquin County Superintendent of Schools. It is my honor to welcome you to this evening's high school honors concert, which highlights the high school band, choir, and orchestra musicians across our county. Before I share a few more thoughts, I do want to recognize, I think we have at least two school board members, and I want to recognize them. Lisa Boulay and Stephanie Olson from Lammersville Unified School District are here. We're honored to have you here with us tonight. And if there's other dignitaries that I didn't see earlier, I apologize. There's been an increasing appreciation for the arts in education in California, which we're excited about. That passion for arts education has seen peaks and valleys historically. But I'm proud that our community in San Joaquin County has shown sustained support for arts and education over the decades. That passion for learning the arts can be seen here tonight. For our part, the San Joaquin County Office of Education has supported music education in San Joaquin County since 1959 by sponsoring honors concerts, as well as band and choir festivals, clinics, master classes, and other music services. And it is an honor to continue to carry the torch for countywide student musical performances. Another long-standing champion of the performing arts is San Joaquin Delta College. I would like to thank Delta College not only for hosting tonight's concert, but also for their continued partnership that helps make this special night possible each year. So how about a hand for Delta, please? <laughs> Arts education thrives in the classroom in San Joaquin County Schools. So I would also like to extend my gratitude to the San Joaquin County Music Educators Association, an organization comprised of local band, choir, and orchestra directors whose purpose is to further the advancement of music education in and out of the classroom. These teachers volunteer their time to help organize and prepare our honor band, choir, and orchestra concerts so that the arts can thrive and flourish in our schools. And I would like to recognize the latest generation of student musicians performing tonight. Participating in the high school honors concert doesn't just take talent, it takes dedication to the arts. It takes courage to audition and perform in front of a large audience, especially like tonight. And it takes practice and teamwork to make it here. So thank you for sharing your talents with us, students. And last but certainly not least, thank you to the parents, family members, teachers, administrators, and others who are here tonight or watching from home who help their students nurture their passion for the performing arts and grow as musicians. Music educators, or music, excuse me, music education has so many positive impacts on our young people. It improves academic performance, assists in developing social skills, relieves stress, teaches discipline, builds self-esteem, and provides an outlet for creativity, and much more. And in San Joaquin County, we are fortunate that our school districts provide opportunities for music education, and that they truly understand the value of music in schools and the extraordinary benefits that music education provides students. So thank you for being here this evening. It is now my privilege to introduce the San Joaquin County Office of Education's Assistant Superintendent of Educational Services, Jane Steinkamp. It's always too short for him and then too tall for me. There we go. All right. Good evening and thank you, Dr. Brown. As uh, Dr. Brown said, my name is Jane Steinkamp. I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Educational Services, and I have the privilege of being your Master of Ceremony for tonight's concert. The County Office of Education has been a proud sponsor of the high school, um, middle school and high school honor concerts for over 60 years, and I can assure you that you are in for a wonderful night of music. 
I also want to welcome those of us, welcome those of you who are attending virtually and apologize. We are having some technical difficulties due to the storm, so we are working continuously to try and get the stream back up live, but if it does not come up live, it will be recorded and posted on that same YouTube link. It's so exciting to see people up in the balconies. It's been a couple years, and considering the storm, it's amazing to see the big crowd tonight, so thank you. First, I'd like to also encourage you a few house notes. Um, please take a moment to ensure that your cell phones are on silent. And then also, please, no flash photography during the performance. It's difficult for the performers and then also for the video that we're capturing. This year, 256 students will be performing in the honors concerts, 76 in choir, 83 in orchestra, and 97 in band. These students represent 10 districts and 22 high schools. More than 300 students auditioned in the fall. The auditions and concerts are organized by our Visual and Performing Arts Department, and as Dr. Brown said, in conjunction with Delta College and the San Joaquin County Music Educators Association. And as you know, these young musicians represent the best of the best in San Joaquin County. Thank you, parents, for promoting music education and for supporting your children in this exciting and challenging endeavor. I would also like to thank several people who are backstage without whom this evening would not happen. From the San Joaquin County Office of Education, our project liaison for visual and performing arts, Sandra Wendell, and her staff secretary, Julia, Julia Cornejo. Please give them a round of applause. And a man that you never see, but who makes everything, all the magic happen in every technical component of this work this evening, Kishore Patel. As if it wasn't enough to run this entire event, he's the one uh, back there trying to solve the streaming problem and is an amazing, amazing partner in this project. So without further ado, I would like to ask the 2023 San Joaquin County High School Honor Choir to join us on stage. The beauty of music is that it transcends so many barriers, as clearly reflected by the beautiful young um, people, the diversity and the beauty of the young students who are up here tonight. It is my pleasure to introduce tonight's accompanist, Monica Adams. Ms. Adams holds a, B, a, a Bachelor's of Music in Vocal Performance from the University of the Pacific. She has performed the piano with the Stockton Symphony Orchestra, and she has performed over 60 recitals at UOP and elsewhere as an accompanist. Monica has been involved in the church music at various churches or organists, church cho choir director and director of music for over 25 years, and she's been our partner in this for many, many years. Thank you, Monica. Our guest conductor this year is Dr. Ruth Southard. 
Director of Choral Studies at Delta College. He is currently the Director of Choral Activities at San Joaquin Delta College and serves as the Artistic Director for the Stockton Chorale. Teaching is his passion, and he was named the Outstanding Teacher of the Year in the College of Arts and Sciences at Dickinson State University in 2013. He has served as a guest conductor for several regional honor choirs in Montana and North Dakota. In addition to his active adjudication and clinic schedule, his applied voice students have been recognized at the Metropolitan Opera. He received his Bachelor of Music degree from the University of the Pacific, his Master of Music degree from the Western Kentucky University, and his Doctor of Music Arts degree in choral music from North Dakota State University. There is additional information in the bio in your program. Please welcome Dr. Bruce Southard. Well, welcome to our program. Um, I'm really thrilled to be here. Um, and uh, in, uh, in my auditorium, you can tell someone's gonna sing who's a little shorter than me. 
and that's all good. So I tend not to talk in between uh, things too much, but I'll talk a little bit um, as we go through the program. Next we'll sing uh, uh, Amor Vittorioso, and then we'll head uh, to another tune called I Carry Your Heart With Me.
So we have one more selection for you. I, I need to tell you who's singing what. So from The Greatest Showman, we're going to be singing This Is Me to end our program. Our first soloist is Renaya over here. Then Kaylee on the end over here. Then Erica. Then Kaylee over here. And then we have a group of six singing, which are Sydney, Gianni, uh, Kaylee H, uh, Carly Monroe, Erica Chia, is that right? Chia, and uh, Kayleen. Over here somewhere, right? Okay, that's good. All right. So, it, I'm just going to take this out. I'll put it back, I promise. Um, it has been a super great privilege for me to uh, be working with these students. And their teachers uh, have done an awesome job organizing and putting this together. Made my job a whole lot easier. Um, I do honor choirs. Uh, quite often, and uh, I just really was impressed, and I was uh, telling a couple of them earlier tonight, really impressed just how organized and how detailed and, and, and all they were uh, coming into this. So I really uh, shout out to all of our teachers uh, who helped put this together and who helped uh, make it run. Now, <clears throat> talking about honor ensembles, we were talking about this a little bit earlier today. Sometimes you meet people from other schools when you're in an honor ensemble and you become lifelong friends. So our incredible, extraordinary accompanist, Monica Adams. Way back, we, we say in the dark ages before the internet, Monica and I played in the San Joaquin County Honor Band together. Then we went to school together at Pacific. Monica accompanied my senior recital. And so we go way back, but it's, it's situations like these that are just so important for our musicians and our, our singers to kind of get out of the bubble of our own school to participate in a much wider and broader uh, opportunity. And so just wanted to uh, shout out, and uh, Monica has been incredible through this whole last three days. So, yes. so let's get on with it. This is me. to the dark hide away they say we don't want your broken parts I love my scars run away they say no one to love you as you are but I won't let them break me down to dust I know that there's a place for us for we are gone
Those words want to cut me down. I'm going to send a flood, going to drown them out. This is brave. This is bruised. This is who I'm meant to be. This is me. Look out, because here I go. Please, big hand of applause. One more big round of applause, Dr. South. This is amazing. Congratulations on a job well down. That was fantastic. When people question the effectiveness of public education, remember those voices, these incredible young individuals. Thank you, thank you. At this point, we will take a brief intermission to set up for orchestra. Welcome back. We are very much looking forward to hearing the beautiful music of the 2023 Honor Orchestra. Our orchestra guest conductor this year is Joseph Ebert, String Ensemble Director at CSU East Bay. Joseph Ebert, San Francisco Bay Area Cellist, Choral Director and Educator, 
is versatile, versatile in classical and improvisational styles of music. He has toured the United States, Japan, Africa, and Europe, having shared the concert stage and recording studio with hundreds of artists from classical and popular music worlds, including Carlos Santana, Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles, Jesse Norman, and Harry Connick Jr. He is also a voting member of the Grammy Recording Academy and has performed on many Grammy award-winning and nominated recordings. He has been described by the Bay Area, by the Oakland Tribune as one of the most eloquently expressive cellists in the San Francisco Bay Area. Joseph A. Bear is currently on the faculty at Cal State University East Bay as a lecture, lecturer, cello, and string ensemble director. In 2022, Joseph debuted at Carnegie Hall with the Gateways Festival Orchestra, the first all-black orchestra to perform there in the hall's 130-year history. The orchestra was joined by Oscar and Grammy winner Joan Batiste with his world premiere commission dedicated to the Gateways Festival Orchestra. Joseph is an accomplished choral director having traveled to Europe with his volunteer choirs and cello performances with tours throughout Italy, Spain, Czech Republic, Austria, Germany, and an invitational performance in the Vatican. Please welcome our guest conductor, Joseph Hebert. Good evening, everyone. I just wanted to say a couple of words about this experience. This is my first time here. And after playing thousands of concerts and rehearsals as a cellist, as a choral director, uh, I have to say that what brings me the most joy is working with young people like this ensemble right here. Not only Not only did they come prepared and ready, but also they came ready to absorb what musicianship that they could receive from one another and from my instruction. And that's a tricky thing to do when you have such a limited amount of time. But I'm so proud of them. The mu music that they're making, I don't have to make any apologies for in any way. It's at the highest level and I feel very, very honored to be able to work with them and to make music and create the joy that music brings. I know that it doesn't happen without good teachers and administrators that help the process to bring them here. I wanted to also just go through the order of the music because it's not in the correct order here. I picked it a, a long time ago, but in your program, the first two pieces are going to be, let me get there, oh, there it is. The first one is Allegro Presto by Joseph Bologna Chevalier de Saint Georges, and that one is on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, Nocturne String Quartet by Borodine. So those will be our first two pieces, in case you want to read a little bit, and, uh, and then I'll announce the next two. Thank you.
next two pieces will be a blues piece, blues for string orchestra. And then the one after that will be The Old Boatman by Florence Price. And on the blues for string orchestra, we've added a little bit of a trap uh, drum set. And we have uh, Mr. Jonathan Rahman joining us for that.
I get moved. I can't walk. <laughs> the, uh, the last two pieces are the three Slavonic dances by Dvorak, and so it's an exciting piece. And then our final one is uh, Basa Rojo, and that involves some soloists. It also involves bringing back uh, Jonathan Rahman on drums, and we also have a member of our violin section who will be playing piano on that final one, and that is uh, Mia Gonzalez.
Wow. Before you leave, Mr. Ayer, you have brought their craft to such a deeper and, and more meaningful and beautiful level. So I, I've been doing this for 10 years, and that was an incredible performance. Thank you. Thank you. I'm having so much fun tonight because I'm sitting next to my fiance and he has never been here before. And after the first song, he said, and these are high school students? And in the middle of the last song, he said, and they've been together, they're all from different high schools and they've been together for three days doing this. So we know what a stunning <laughs> accomplishment this is. So I would like to extend a special thanks to our partner in this event, the San Joaquin County Music Educators Association board members. And I'm gonna call them out. They will be recognized also at the end of the event. And then we're gonna do the Nelson Zane Awards. So the Music Educators Association board members are President Kristen Florig from Lincoln Unified School District. Vice President of Band, Kathy Edel from Lincoln Unified School District. Co-Vice Presidents of Choir, Ethan Abala from Manteca Unified and Katie Carbaljal from Escalon Unified. Co-Vice Presidents of Orchestra, Heidi Anderson from Stockton Unified and Shane Kolbach from Lincoln Unified. We also want to thank all of the participating school music directors. At this time, we will recognize the Nelson Zane Four-Year Award students. Nelson Zane was a longtime music educator in San Joaquin County and a member of the San Joaquin County Office of Education team. Nelson spent 41 years with the county office, beginning as a traveling band director, serving the rural schools of the county. In 1985, he was appointed to the position of music specialist, adding administration of music services and special events to his teaching responsibilities. As part of his work for the County Office of Education, he founded the County Choir Festival for elementary schools, the County Elementary Honor Choir and the County High School Honor Choir, the event that we're here tonight. After retiring from the county office in 1998, he continued serving as the coordinator of musical events until 2003. As a well-respected trombonist, Nelson joined the Stockton Symphony in 1965 and served in the orchestra until 2007. He was a founding member of the Concert Band Association and played in the band for several years. Nelson leaves behind a legacy of thousands of students who learned to love music because of their contact with him. The Nelson Zane Honor is given to students who have been accepted into the San Joaquin County Office of Education High School Honors Program for all four years of eligibility. This year, a total of 31 students will receive the award, five in choir, 17 in orchestra, and nine in band. Help me, okay. And what we want you to do when we call your name and you receive the award, make sure you scoot all the way down to the edge of the stage because Tim is gonna take a big picture of the whole group. Okay, so from band, Renato Bali Balingit. <laughs> Sebastian Filius. Sorry, Sebastian Filos. Coltrane James. And I'm sorry, I didn't announce the school. So Renato is from Manteca, Sebastian is from Sierra High School, Coltrane is from Lincoln High School. <laughs> Megan Jang from Mountain House High School. <laughs> Leah Johnson from Lincoln High School. <laughs> Praven Langham from Lincoln High School. Peyton Pryor from Lincoln High School. 
Bradley Randall from Lincoln High School. And Alejandro Villalobos from Lincoln High School. For choir, we have Emily Anderson from Lincoln High School. Mia Bates from Tracy High School. Alyssa Bonacore from Lincoln High School. And Avery Tara from Escalon High School. For orchestra, we have Soyun An from Lincoln High School. Anwar Akhtar from Lincoln High School. Hayden Eaton from Lincoln High School. Mia Gonzalez from Lincoln High School. Casey Kendrick from Lincoln High School. Alina Kim from Tracy High School. Katie Kim from Manteca High School. Maylene Legaspi from Lincoln High School. Amaris Martina Mendoza from Chavez High School. Arsh Muhab from West High School. Daniela Padilla from Lincoln High School. Thomas Park from Lincoln High School. Sanvi Rajiv from Mountain House High School. Marissa Rush from Sierra High School. Elizabeth Sue from Mountain House High School. Rosha Hate from West High School. And Josiah Wiesner from Lincoln High School. In addition, So um, in addition to the Nelson Zane four-year award, recipients are eligible for a $500 scholarship. Each Nelson Zane recipient was invited to submit an essay to complete for the scholarship. This year, the prompt was, my fondest memory of participating in the San Joaquin County Honor Concert. And I'll read the essay and then announce who the winner is, although the person will know as soon as I start. My fondest memory of participating in the San Joaquin County Honors Concerts are the car rides to and from practices with my peers, especially this last year. There's something about the sense of community and encouragement shared within my choir friends that really lets me reflect on how far I've come in my choir journey. On the way over, we would spend the 30-minute ride together and practice blasting whatever songs we could think of while my fellow seniors and I thought of how any of those songs could be inspiring and work as our senior song at the end of the year. On the way back, the rides were even better. We were all loaded with adrenaline while all of our different voices share their experiences from practice, as well as what we had learned that day. I have been very fortunate to represent my school in San Joaquin County at the Central Region Honor Choir and the California All-State Honor Choir. It's one of the coolest feelings in the world to realize that you're paving the way for your school and country and the country's future singers. Something as simple as riding in a van and blasting 2000, 20, 2000s hip hop jams with the students of my choir's future, the choir that I put my heart and soul into for the last four years. 
It is a reminder of how much a positive impact the San Joaquin County Honor Choir opportunity has provided me and my future career goal of becoming a choral instructor, Avery Tara. Wow. Join me in congratulating all of our four-year performers. This is a major and distinguished accomplishment. And at this time, we will take a second intermission to set up for Honor Band. We hope you stay. Don't go anywhere. There's pictures to be taken, so stay there and watch Mrs. Florick. Thank you again for being here for the 2023 County Honors Concert. My name is Kristen Florick. I teach band at Lincoln High School and Sierra Middle School in the Lincoln Unified School District. I also serve as a role as a president of SJCMEA. SJCME, SJCMEA is the San Joaquin Music Educators Association. It's an organization of choir, band, and orchestra directors that help organize and, and, and prepare events like tonight's concert so the arts can flourish in our schools. As you, we heard earlier tonight, it's a showcase of some of the finest high school musicians in San Joaquin County. They proudly represent their schools, their choirs, their orchestras, their bands, and they truly demonstrate what can be accomplished when people work together towards a common goal. In addition to making beautiful music tonight, it is my hope that these students go back to their home schools and share what they've learned in the many hours of rehearsals with, these, with, with this year's inspiring guest conductors. It is a pleasure to introduce our guest conductor for band, Dr. David Vickerman. Dr. Vickerman is the Associate Professor of Music and Director of Bands at San Jose State University. In addition to conducting the Wind Ensemble, he leads the New Music Ensemble and teaches both undergraduate and graduate, graduate levels of instrumental conducting. Under his leadership, the San Jose State Wind Ensemble has been selected to perform at the California All-State Music Educator Conference in 2020 and the College Band Directors National Association uh, division conference in 2022. Dr. Vickerman is a highly sought out guest conductor, having conducted numerous honor bands throughout the country. A fervent advocate for contemporary music, Dr. Vickerman has commissioned works by eminent composers and has conducted many world premieres from his ensembles. Dr. Vickerman regularly presents at regional, national, and international conferences on topics ranging from teaching social justice issues in band and embracing vulnerability in rehearsal and performance to the development of computer-based conducting analysis system that helps uh, beginning conducting students. Many of our people in the community know David from his early days as band director at Lodi High School in 2003. We are thrilled to have him return to our area to work with our students. Please join me in welcoming our guest conductor for 2023, Dr. David Vickerman.
I'll just keep it on the stand. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. This is fantastic uh, to see so much support. Isn't it great to have live music back, All right? Absolutely. Um, I'm David Vickerman, director of bands at San Jose State. Super happy to be here. This is a, a very full circle moment for me. As said earlier, I taught at Lodi High School from 2003 to 2008 and helped run this event for many, many years. So uh, there's been a lot of wonderful moments um, just being back on this stage and being in the dressing rooms and things like that. So it's been lovely. Uh, the first piece on the program, Halcyon Hearts by Kataj Copley, fantastic uh, composer, yet very young composer, getting his doctorate right now at University of Texas. Um, the next piece on the program for you is entitled Dream of Ember, Dream of Star by David Biedenbender. It is, I'll be surprised if any of you have heard it by now, because I, I think the ink is still drying on the parts. Um, it's really, really, really new and um, I think quite lovely. Uh, we don't have a lot of music uh, in the band world um, that is meditative and kind of gets you to think introspectively a little bit. A lot of our music is more along the lines of Halcyon Hearts, very big, and I love it for those reasons, but it's nice to be able to experience those, um, the other side, you know, a little bit. I encourage you to, at some point in time, take a look at the program notes, maybe not right at this moment, but maybe um, a little later. Uh, one of the things he talks about is that this piece was commissioned before the pandemic, then the pandemic hit, and it was canceled, and then it was premiered, supposed to be premiered in 2021, canceled again. So uh, the piece is a little bit about uh, trying to recenter yourself after everything that's been going on. So we talked uh, with the ensemble about, you know, the importance of when we do music that it's relevant to what we're all experiencing right now. So I really hope you're going to enjoy it. This is Dream of Ember, Dream of Star.
the next piece on the program is entitled Grace Before Sleep. Uh, and originally, uh, the, it's originally a choral work uh, by Susan Labar. So are the choir kids, and they might be out there. Anyway, I don't know if you sang this, but it's a beautiful choral piece. But this is the band version. Uh, but we don't have text. We, don't, we can't sing words through our instruments super well. Uh, so it's based off of a poem by Sarah Teasdale that's quite lovely, and I believe the, the poem should be in the program notes for you all, and I don't want to try to do it from memory because I'll just mess it up for you all here. But um, if you get a chance, you should take a look at it. It's really, I am always drawn aesthetically to things that have beauty and simplicity. Um, so uh, it's, a, it's a fairly simple uh, poem. There is, at the big moment, though, I will tell you, uh, you'll hear the big moment. It'll be pretty obvious, I think. Um, it's right where the words say, but here the hearth is wide and warm. And uh, we didn't get a chance to talk about this too much with this group, but I've always thought um, not just the physical idea of being around a hearth and with people you love, but being in a community you love, like in an ensemble, that type of thing, too. You know, for a lot of us that have grown up in music and done this, you know, the ensembles we're in, both at school and here, hopefully, in the County Honor Band, become that hearth, right? They become the place where we find ourselves and we find our home. So we hope you enjoy Grace Before Sleep.
We have one more piece for you on the program. It's written in two movements, written by a really good friend of mine, Viet Quang. Uh, Viet and I were at Peabody together when he was a baby composer and I was a baby conductor. Um, he has now become super famous. Uh, he is a composer in residence for the California Symphony now, um, teaches in uh, University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Um, he's an incredible composer. Uh, I've, it's been a privilege of mine just to see his career take off because uh, I know uh, the, the, there's no limits to it at this point in time. Diamond Tide is a piece he wrote uh, a while ago uh, designed uh, for, for wind ensemble. He has a history of playing in bands actually, which is wonderful, so he writes very well for winds. Um, I'll tell you briefly a little bit about the piece. So he got inspired uh, by a reading about how uh, science was finally able to melt a diamond and the amount of pressure it took to actually melt a diamond. And the scientists in the article were comparing it to the amount of pressure that is on Neptune and Uranus. And basically they were saying something along the lines of that there would be oceans of diamond or oceans of graphite. But he said oceans of graphite isn't nearly as cool sounding as oceans of diamond. You know, um, so the idea here is he got really inspired by this idea of these undulating waves of pure diamond, which I'm sure we're all thinking would be lovely to just get a little cup of. Um, but you'd have to, you know, you wouldn't survive, unfortunately, in those pressure situations. So um, it actually uses some really cool effects. Uh, and so I've asked a couple of our percussionists to show off uh, what these effects are. So he actually heard these percussion effects and then wrote the piece based on it. So the first one we're gonna hear is actually uh, a crotale, just a single crotale, which is a little tiny metal uh, cymbal type thing that has a pitch, right? And it's suspended and they're gonna strike it and then drop it into water as it's, as it's ringing. So can we try that out please, Sebastian? Yeah. Meow. <laughs> Right? Did you hear that? So he heard that, and he was like, I'm going to write the whole piece based on that. So you, if, if you want to play a little bit of musical Where's Waldo, just see if you can find how often we hear that, like, descending, so descending second. You know, you'll hear it all over the piece. In fact, the trombones are going to play it a few times, right, trombones? Yep, all right. And then we also have, at the beginning of the second movement, so there's the first movement and the second movement, we have a really super cool effect. He loves, loves using wine glasses for stuff. Um, to make for, for music, for music things. And um, so he does the same thing with the wine glasses where the percussionists are playing it, but as they're playing it, they tip the wine glass and it changes the pitch. So now we're gonna hear that so you can listen for it. Cool. Yeah. Before we perform Diamond Tide, now that I've got you all excited about listening for the, the descending second all the way through, I just want to say thank you to the San Joaquin County Music Educators Association for inviting all of us guest conductors to be a part of this event. Um, uh, I think that a lot of people in this room probably realize how much extra work music teachers put in that is not compensated, uh, let's say, but they do it because they know what it means to the students up here, I know that's why I did it. That's exactly, so let's give them a huge round of applause. <laughs> and students that have performed in these ensembles, all of, all of you, including the, the, those behind me, yeah, if you haven't had a chance to thank your uh, directors for in, um, helping you become a part of this, please do so. You might think they know, but it's nice to hear. It's nice to hear, and it helps us when we are asked to volunteer and do these things. We see it's made an impact, so please make sure you do that. And um, as it was said at the very beginning of the concert, these things don't happen without the support of family and friends who have driven here in the rain uh, to be here and support everyone. So you, you probably realize at this point in time how much doing this uh, impacts your children. Um, so thank you for doing that. Spread the word. Uh, to more people. I think, I don't know about you all, but I think this entire planet could use with a lot more musicians and artists. I think it would, it would be a good thing. So, so thank you for supporting them in, in their musical endeavors. Um, that's about it. I hope you enjoy Diamond Tide. Thank you all.
Another round of applause for the band. On your band. We're going to bring out all of our guest conductors and our accompanists. So first we'll have Dr. Bruce Souther for choir. Our wonderful accompanist, Monica Adams. Monica? <laughs> Orchestra guest conductor, Joseph Ebert. Guest conductor for the band, Dr. David Vickerman. Right on, buddy. <laughs> the arts are alive in San Joaquin County for sure. This concert was recorded, so we will have a link to that on our website so we can check it out again and again. Tell three people about this wonderful concert. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you and good night.